guys, welcome back to Natural Curlies TV. Today I'm sharing with you top tips for how to go natural in 2017. So the first one would be just take the leap of faith, go ahead, do it. If you know you want to go natural and you've got some relaxed ends and you're transitioning, just go ahead and cut it off, take the leap of faith, you'll be fine. Um, you have lots of support from the natural hair community, lots of um, resources for you to help um, you along your journey. You are not alone. There are communities that you can join, um, people that you can follow and um, be inspired by, videos you can watch, books you can read. So just go ahead and do it, literally, if you know that you want to make that big leap that big jump over to becoming your authentic self. Um, that would be my first one because the only way that you can go natural is actually by doing it. Um, so number two would be, I would say go out, get yourself um, a sulfate free um, shampoo because you, your hair is curly. <laughs> and um, because your hair is curly and curls do better with sulfate free shampoos because it's not as harsh as the sulfate that you find in maybe a, a regular kind of shampoo so please look out for sulfate stay away from them stay clear of them they are the greatest for na for um, natural naturally curly hair it will kind of most people find which I do I find that it strips your hair it makes your hair feel dry and um, it's sometimes hard to get those that moisture back in your hair after you use a sulfate shampoo um, the third tip I would say is get yourself a fantastic conditioner make sure it's a moisturizing conditioner and lots of oils in it and butters in the in the conditioner and you're good to go a lovely beautiful moisturizing moisturizing conditioner will really really help you in keeping your curls nice and moisturized and um, bouncy soft and also stop your hair from um, once your hair is moisturized stop it from breaking so you know stop your hair from kind of breaking unnecessarily if your hair is dry, your hair is more susceptible to breaking. And if you want your hair, if your aim is hair growth, then you know you want to keep your hair as moisturized as possible. So yeah, get yourself a good moisturizing conditioner. Um, another tip would be kind of do your research, find out, you know, try not to. I know it's really hard because I felt as though I mean I did this on my journey was to kind of when you saw a new product, the first thing you did was kind of pick it up go and use it, find that it didn't work for you, then it will be it will go to one side and you wouldn't use it again or you'd give it to a family member or a friend. There are there's so much again resources out there for you to kind of get the information that you need kind of on products so you don't have to become the product junkie that um, I was or some other of my um, YouTube family can probably resonate with. There's um, reviews uh, on on products and so on. I do lots of reviews on this channel, so please go and check check those um, videos out for reviews I've done on products. Um, yeah, do your do your research on products. I would say, you know, follow people that have the same hair texture hair texture as as you as as well. Um, it's all. I mean, I found it beneficial, kind of following naturals that had more or less the same curl pattern as me. Um, especially if I wanted to gauge what types of strategies, what type of strategies, <laughs> what types of methods would um, work for for my hair. Um, and that's when some people really hate hair typing, but that's when I think hair typing is a useful tool. Um, hair typing is is a way I find of you being able to um, find which naturals kind of have the same hair texture hair texture as you. If um, you have another 4A natural who use this product, it's probably most likely that that product will be of some benefit to you or you'll find that it, it, it works it works for you. I mean, that's what I found in the past, um, especially with certain styling techniques as well. Even 4A natural has done just done a, you know, a twist out and they've used 
they've used their products in a certain order then that might work for you kind of as well and that's where I find that care typing although you know we are, are not all types that um, that tool does work quite effectively um, for that you being able to kind of find which naturals have the same kind of hair texture as you and being able to kind of learn from them we've spoken about deep condition deep conditioning and kind of really finding yourself a good moisturizing conditioner but also moisturizing on a regular basis is regular basis is really really important again you don't want your hair to become dry and um damaged you've got to keep moisturizing it if not every day every other day some people find that moisturizing in the morning is better for them some people find that moisturizing in the evening some people moisturize both i know at the beginning of my journey i used to moisturize in the morning and i used to moisturize before i went to bed and yes it did make a difference because i was trying to my hair lacked a lot of moisture and i needed to do an intensive kind of moisture have an intensive moist um I had to have an intensive moisture regimen with with my hair so that's what I needed to do now I don't do that I will kind of moisturize maybe uh, every other day and my hair is absolutely fine and I found also what products kind of work for me and what order to use the products in as well so using you know doing the lock method liquid oil um, cream or liquid cream oil whichever method you'll find works for you um, you know helps to kind of lock in that moisture and maintain it for a longer period than say if you were just using um, kind of wetting your hair and just putting an oil on top of it so all these things um, are things that you will learn about your hair on your on your journey protective styling if your aim is natural hair growth if your hair is sorry if your aim is you know a longer length protective styles are going to be fantastic for you braids um you know lock extensions um anything where the ends of your hair are kind of tucked under or they're away in some Form, then you are going to be able to re retain length for as long as possible um, and that's what I found work for me protective styling keeping my ends tucked away from my you know my clothes from the elements twists tuck the twists under that was seriously my go-to hairstyle and to be honest it still is my go-to hairstyle <laughs> so um, so yeah that really yeah that really worked like protective styles really work if you are wanting to kind of grow your hair and um keeping your hands out of your hair as as well that will really kind of help to maintain any length that you have or try and reduce any breakage that you have if you're styling your hair on a daily basis for some types of hair such as mine i have fine hair so i find that my hair is quite easy to break um, my strands aren't very aren't very thick so um, people think that my hair is thick but my hair isn't thick I have a lot of it but it's fine hair um, so yeah depending on the type of the hair strand that you have you want to be careful with the tools that you use um, in your hair like I moved over from using combs a lot of the time to using my fingers because it was a lot gentler and I noticed that I wasn't getting as much breakage and um, I was able to kind of maintain a certain curl definition curl definition again isn't everything it's not something that you have to um, you have to aim for frizz is great as you can see see from um, this hairstyle that I have here it has frizzed out but at the same time I'm rocking it and I'm loving it my last top tip for going natural would be just to own what you have own it walk with pride walk with confidence you are beautiful you are a beautiful queen you need to embrace that and you need to love it the, the more people see that you are loving yourself and confident in who you are the less people will question your decision to go natural and will love your hair as well 
Um, so yeah, just own it girl, own it. You are a queen and you will always be a queen, okay? So guys, that is it. Those are my top tips. If you think that I've missed any and you want to share some with the fellow naturals out there, please do leave a comment down below so that everyone can be enlightened by your um, top, top tips. Guys, that is it from me. If you haven't followed Natural Curlies already on social media, I don't know why you haven't. Um, but if you haven't, you can follow Natural Curlies on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and it's just at Natural Curlies. Simple as that. Um, yes, I think that's hard. So uh, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace, love and blessings to you all in abundance. Uh, see you in the next one guys. Bye for now.